guys welcome back to the channel we got the Quincy compressor here I'm going to be installing I got my dryer installed right there temporarily still gotta figure some stuff out I've been pretty busy lately but I ended up ordering an electronic drain valve Quincy wanted like gosh like an extra 400 bucks or something to have this already installed on the unit. I mean, I got this one for like 35 bucks and it's got great reviews off of Amazon. Automatic electronic time drain valve for compressor. It's brand spanking new. So we are going to do that today. The first thing I need to do though, I'm going to shut the power off and then go ahead and just open up this drain valve. I mean, it's already, it already builds up quite a bit. I mean, that's just inevitable. So it shoots out a bunch. Uh, what I want to do eventually as well, like, you know, I don't really have the parts to do it today um, other than just install this first before I start sandblasting again. I want to put a drain hose on it to where it'll drain in a spot other than my floor <laughs> so all right that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and uh get this thing drained and then i'll bring it back all right so we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up take a look at what we got So pretty simple. Just have to plumb it in and get her done. <clears throat> so it's got on and off. It's got a test switch on seconds, off minutes. So it looks like it's only every 45 minutes so psh, psh. I'm thinking you know if you have it on two seconds every 45 minutes that should be good enough I would think it's kind of more frequently than I was hoping but and there are no instructions with it I mean I guess it's not really you don't really need much of instructions you just plumb the sucker in and it's got a ball valve to open it and close and then it purges from there so that seems pretty simple so you can obviously adjust which way this stays you just tighten or loosen this nut here and then you can shift it you have this here this tightens up and obviously it's just got a you know 110, 120 plug there. You can run that up to the outlet that it's by, and then it'll do its job. So, and the cool thing is that you can always shh, unplug it. You know, or maybe you could put uh, put it on a switch. That way, it's not running every. You know, because if you're not out in the garage for 12 hours or a couple days, <laughs> then you could just you know put it on a a switch and um, have it to where you can just flip the switch when you go out in the garage and then it'll do its thing while you're out there using it so that's pretty and obviously you wouldn't you well it's not gonna be on the same power source anyway so it'll be plugged into a 120 so you don't have to worry about uh, it affecting the compressor power at all so it does have a direction so obviously like I said this will get plumbed into the base of the compressor there and then see this right here you could so it's got threads on the inside and the out these look like quarter inch pipe thread uh, I'm not sure these are like one inch maybe on the outside 
but um, you could easily plug in some sort of hose, maybe like a 90 degree, depending on how it's, you know, how everything is sit. And then, uh, you know, just run a hose out to, you know, a little hole in the back of your garage or what, the side of your garage, what have you, and it'll, or a drain, you know, and it'll drain up away from the compressor, not on the floor or anything, make things a lot safer in your shop. So definitely a nice little unit here. Hopefully, it was, got good reviews on Amazon, so uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get it started and go from there. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do here is just unplug this, or I'm sorry, unscrew this ball valve here. It doesn't seem like it's a very good quality ball valve. Works, but still you'd think there'd be one that's a little bit nicer so i might have to i don't know i might have a thing here Let's see. i don't know why they wouldn't face this down a little more i guess it doesn't really matter really weird why there's water leaking out of there. I already drained it. So let's see if How does this thing even work? This almost makes me think that there's supposed to be a, an O-ring on here. And that it is not. So I'm gonna put it on there like that. And that should keep it out of the way. I think these threads should work here, yep. I believe I have a uh, a male double male coupler that I can put on the end of here. So let me go see if I can get that. All right, so this is what I have, and I had to put this in a vise to get it out of the last um, device that it was in. So I messed up some of the threads. I already hit most of them. But just to show you guys a little trick is I will use a file and then just stick it in between the threads that are kind of messed up. That helps stuff. Smooth them out. Like you can see some of these right here are a little messed up. Straightens them out a little bit. There's no real bad flat spots in it anymore. Should be good. This guy should fit right in the end of here. Yes. All right. So we'll go ahead and get this taped up with some Teflon. Start wrapping it or uh, thread it in there.
Here we go. So we don't have any, hopefully I won't have any clearance problems. I might have to pull this off. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. What do you think? One more time? I don't know if that's, maybe that's like magnetic. It must be like magnetic op, magnetically operated, like mag drive, because there's nothing on the outside of this here or on the inside. So this is probably just some type of coil and it's strong enough to where when it kicks on, it magnetizes and pulls up a little valve for two seconds. So it'll charge, it'll draw the valve up, and then it'll shut off and let it drop back down. So that must be how it works. All right, let's go ahead and put the valve back on here. I also want to put a little bit of Loctite on there. Just a little bit of blue Loctite I think will work. Should be enough. I mean, you would think maybe there would be a little piece of rubber or something there, or an O-ring or something. I don't think it would hurt. I'm gonna find one. A little O-ring assortment here. It's come in handy. They're not the best sizes. I mean, they're they're standard sizes, but they're not like they're not. It's, like I said, standard sizes, it's not, you know, there's, I come across specialty stuff that I have to, which I have taken some of this stuff, some of the thicker ones, and just cut pieces off of them, and used them that way. That's probably too thick. Oh, yeah, that's way too thick. Let's probably have to stretch a thinner one on there. Something like that. Just enough to form a seal. I'll put a little bit of lubrication on there. Tiny bit of grease.
because I don't know if this is going to be long enough to reach over there. Put the fire up the compressor. I do have a small extension if need be, not a big deal. A little free, little three footer somewhere. It does look like it's gonna reach, so that's good. So we'll do every 45 minutes. Two seconds should be. So that's it. All right, so let's go ahead and fill up the compressor and go from there. So that went down to like half a minute. Awesome. That was three seconds. Take it all the way up to 45. I think three seconds should be enough. So, and you go all the way up to 10 seconds on it, too. So, all right, guys, that is it. Just wanted to show you that. Um, really easy install. So, um, it seems like it's functioning well. I will use it for a while and try and report back. If I don't, ask me about it, and I'll try and make a video and report any updates that I've done, like the line. Probably going to put a glass or maybe a clear plastic portion of this um, drain tube on here somewhere. And then uh, the rest is probably going to be copper because uh, it's going to be a pretty hard um, burst of air out of there. So, um, yeah, I'll report back on that. So I hope you guys found the video useful. And, um, you know, maybe this encouraged you guys to get an auto drain. This was only like 35 bucks, 40 bucks on Amazon. So, yeah, hopefully this encouraged you guys to get one of these for your compressor to help increase the longevity of it to make sure the water is drained and doesn't sit in the bottom of the tank and just rust away. And, uh, you know, if you guys like what you see, you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed, smash the alert bell as well. And that way you guys are notified of future updates. Uh, all the video series and just any old upload I got going on on my channel. So I appreciate you guys coming back all the time, supporting the channel. Go ahead and hit the like button. That always helps out for YouTube growth. And if you guys know anybody else that might find this kind of stuff useful, please share on social media and networking with your family and friends you think might get a kick out of this stuff. All right? All right, guys, take care. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next one.